Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy The Feist back at it with another video. This time we're going to be talking about the Pokemon press conference 2019 that just happened. There's a few things that I do want to talk about this video, but before we get this started, if it's your first time here, definitely be sure to hit 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 that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to disable the camera and we're going to get straight into these videos and just do a quick discussion on all the stuff that they were able to show us. So let's get right into it, guys. The first one I want to talk about is Pokemon Masters, which is a very interesting aspect that's going to be on mobile devices. But this is going to be a battling game, and they have all the Pokemon trainers from across the Pokemon universe. Uh, growing up to Pokemon Blue, I, I definitely loved playing this in junior high school which that's going to probably date my age while you are listening to this guys but they got misty they got brock they got a lot of old school pokemon trainers which i really do love so i'm really excited to see this this is the first thing that definitely caught my interest here in this case i definitely loved that they said that they were going to release this in 2019 so i'm definitely looking forward to this for a mobile game the next thing I want to discuss is that yes, they finally decided to put a Detective Pikachu now, this time instead of the 3DS, which is the gameplay you're seeing right now, but on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, ever since the success of what has been happening with the movie, they decided to now continue and take it a step further since they were going with it. Why not? If you're doing really good, especially in the box office, why wouldn't you ride the lightning in this case? But they have announced also that they will be having a Detective Pikachu also coming to the Nintendo Switch. So that is going to be really exciting. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, and this is kind of like a, a sore or touchy subject in some case, but they're going to be introducing Pokemon Home, and a lot of people can receive this in a really good sense, where it's like, now they have a central hub for either a Nintendo Switch device or mobile devices where they can access all their Pokemon games starting next year. Now, the thing is, I personally do not like having more than one account uh specifically which will resolve this case in the in the sense of the pokemon world but i did wish that they would have used something else like maybe facebook or maybe uh just the nintendo account in general um i just don't have too much information in that regard but i really don't like like a perfect example is ubisoft ubisoft did something very similar where they have their own specific account that you have to log into i don't like logging into spe specific into ubisoft to get ubisoft stuff if i'm playing on steam i would love to just log on steam if i'm on xbox i want to log on on xbox so in this case with the pokemon hub i'm kind of hoping that it would kind of revolve around nintendo or if because it was a mobile game it was revolving around mobile devices so uh this is not something that i was very intrigued by it's an interesting train of thought because they are trying to centralize things uh, i just hope that they centralize it in a better sense compared to the other video game, co game companies that i've seen in the past so only time can tell at this point so we'll see what happens i will say right now just to voice it right now guys because this guy kind of emphasizes a specific nintendo direct in regards to pokemon sword and shield i am really waiting for this game i can't wait for it to come out but now we're going to start talking about the final last thing and this is another one where I'm kind of like, I kind of agree that they finally did this, but uh, it's essentially Pokemon Sleep, but my perspective is not via the sleeping aspect, but they kind of show it, which is really interesting and very cool. But I'm going to just tell you what I think and what I, what I wanted to happen for Pokemon Go. I feel like Pokemon Go should have went this route specifically for walking and... Uh, I used to be an avid, a very strong Pokemon Go player, but it's like, over time, you started to see on the news that it's like, people were being careless or not paying attention while they're walking on the street, and that's not really what should drive Pokemon Go, and it's, it's scary because there's a lot of people that play this game, and if you're playing it and you're not paying attention to the road, something dangerous can happen. So I feel like with what they're doing with Pokemon Sleep, where you would sleep and it would actually accrue points or it makes it an, a good activity where you're going to benefit from it. It should be the same thing with walking. So what I expected from Pokemon Go was if you were walking while the app was on, it would just know that you went to these locations. So whenever you would actually stop, that's when you would benefit in reaping and trying to get the Pokemon. You would open up the app, you'd be like, oh, okay, let me try to capture these Pokemon. Let me click on these stores because I actually walked past them. But you don't have to be at the actual location once you passed it. I would have hoped that like some memory storage would have happened where it was like, they would have been like, okay, you hit this geo IP address or you hit this IP address or geo IP address or location, I'm sorry. 
but that's essentially what I wished would have happened with uh, Pokemon Go, but they're doing it with Pokemon Sleep, so that's a good thing. So it's going to keep track of the amount of hours that you're sleeping in the same location, so you do reap some rewards about it. The irony of this all is that I haven't played Pokemon Go in such a long time, but it's still a very interesting thing. And I tried to actually open up mine a long time ago, but I couldn't because something I, I didn't remember my uh, my information or whatever. But it would be funny if everything I'm mentioning right now they did do, but I highly doubt that they did it. But you guys are going to let me know in the comments. Yo, guys, let me know in the Pokemon press conference what you guys thought was interesting. I really thought Pokemon Masters was really cool. I really am looking forward to that. I think the Pokemon Sleep thing is a very cool aspect of it uh you know i, I would definitely want to check out pokemon go again just because of it uh just to see what's happening the hub can be good or bad depending on you know how they handle it so we'll see where they go from there and yeah i mean overall it was a very interesting conference i think it was really cool yo guys thank you guys so much for uh for hearing my opinions let me know what you guys think let me know in the comments below your opinions i'm really curious what you guys have to say uh definitely uh if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button thank you so much for the love and support guys you have no idea that's why i love doing these videos uh, with you guys just so I can see what you guys say and then just have that engagement. But yo, guys, I'm off and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. See you guys. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya